Yo, what's going on? Um, welcome to the channel. My name is Elton and I'm starting this channel to teach you guys what I already know about working out and self-discipline. I'm gonna be doing challenges and I'm gonna show you guys workouts and stuff like that and skill-based things to help you guys out as I'm learning myself. Before we start today's video, I wanna give you guys a good um, amount of information on what working out is and what it does to your body. So pretty much what you're doing is whenever you're lifting weights, you're breaking muscle, whatever part of the body you're, you're targeting, you're breaking that muscle down. And when you sleep and you're eating, your cells are rebuilding that muscle. So, so think about it like this, right? This is your muscle and you're working out and it's just like breaking apart. And then when you're sleeping and you're eating and after like days of working out, it's like it gets rebuilt and it grows. So instead of being like this, it would eventually grow to be bigger. And that's pretty much what happens whenever you work out any part of your body. And I want you guys to know these things because a lot of people don't really know what's going on throughout your body. From what I've learned so far of about almost a year of working out um, is that there's three big things, three big components that takes when you're working out. Um, these things are very important and if you're not really doing this, you're never going to see any muscle growing. You're not really going to see any progress. The first thing is consistency. You want to make sure when you're working out, you're consistent with what you're doing. You want to constantly be applying pressure to the muscle in your body for it to grow. You can't do it one time and do it weeks after. It's never going to grow if you're not consistent with your work. It doesn't mean you have to lift heavy weights. It just it's all about being consistent and prog and putting all these pressure on your muscle constantly. Um, second thing is eating. Eating is very important. Um, I will eventually make a video on how to manage what you're eating and the calories you're taking. If you want to get bigger and you want to grow your muscle, eating is very important. You want to make sure you're taking enough nutrients and proteins for your body to rebuild and to grow that muscle. The third thing, very underrated, is sleeping. Okay, sleeping, a lot of people forget about this, but you have to remember that your body recovers all the muscle that's breaking down in your body when you're sleeping. So if you're only getting three, four hours of sleep, your body doesn't really have the amount of time that it needs to rebuild it. Obviously, I'm gonna make videos about this in the future, but I wanna give you guys good, like little of information before I start today's video. So yeah, sleeping is very important. These things are very, very important. There's one thing I want you guys to take with you today. It's these three components, consistency, eating, and sleeping. In today's video, we're gonna be talking specifically about the triceps. If you don't know what the triceps is, it's the back muscle, the backward muscle of your arm, and it takes two thirds of your whole arm. So this whole arm, most of it is mostly just working out the triceps. If you want your arm to look bigger, sometimes a lot of people only work out the biceps, which is one third, and that's why their arm looks not like as, as you want it to look, and it looks smaller. But if you do want to increase size and you want your arm to get bigger, I really recommend you guys watch this video. And let's get to this, man. All right, guys, walking through to the first tricep workouts, which is one of my favorites. What you want to do is get a dumbbell, not too heavy, not too light. In this case, I'm using a 35 pound dumbbell. You want to place it behind your head, keeping your arms in an angle, not too straight, not too far back. And you want to lift it up and down and you really want to watch how you're breathing. You want to breathe in when you're going up and out when you're going down, keeping your chest outwards and a straight body posture. Take your time when you're doing this workout. You know, you don't need to rush anything. You just wanna get the best workout as you possibly can. If you're doing this and you're feeling a tight squeeze in your muscle, that's exactly how you know you're doing it right. All right, so while moving on to the tricep press, you wanna make sure your seating arrangement is keeping your hands about right next to your ribs. You don't want it to be too high or too low. And you also may wanna make sure to pick a good enough weight that's not too heavy for you, especially if you're starting off new in the gym. You don't want to force yourself to do some crazy things using heavy weights and injuring yourself. Pretty much the same thing as we did with the last tricep workout. You want to make sure you're breathing in while going up and breathing out while going down, keeping your chest out 
The importance of keeping your chest out is it better aligns your body and that muscle you're trying to work out and it just makes sure you're getting the most out of it when rather you're keeping your chest back you're not really targeting that muscle as much as you possibly could and you could possibly injure yourself and here i'm giving you guys a different point of view while doing this workout notice how my hands is straight and it's close to my body i'm not bringing my whole elbow outwards i'm keeping it straight with my body and aligning with the movement you want to take it slow it's really important to take it slow you don't want to rush it two big pieces of information while taking it slow while working out is one you don't want to injure yourself doing it too quickly and two you really want to get the best out of working out your muscle and applying as much pressure as you possibly can to it breaking it down all right so here i'm on my last set and usually whenever i get to my last set i like to up it up the weight and how many reps i'm doing so i normally had the weight at 105 and now i turn it up to 115 putting a little bit more weight on myself for the reps i turned it up from 15 all the way to 25 to apply more pressure on that muscle while having more weights and applying a more of a challenge to myself Whenever you're at the gym, the machine usually has a picture on how to use that machine properly. But for this one, pretty much you just sit down, lay your arm flat, and you just pull forward, applying tension to your muscle. As you guys can see, I'm keeping my body straight. I'm not bending it backwards. I'm putting as much tension to the triceps, focusing mostly on that muscle. Like I've been teaching y'all, if there's one thing I can teach you guys and one thing I want you guys to take away from this video is whenever you're working out any part of your body, keep it slow and compressed. I know you get impatient. I know you just want to get it over with. But all I can say is the more tension you apply to that muscle, then the faster it's going to grow. So here I'm just giving you guys a different point of view. I took off my sweater to show pretty much what's going on throughout your whole arm. Looking at my the top of my arm, you see how my triceps is moving back and forth and all the weight that I'm working out is applying to that specific muscle and that's pretty much what you want. If you guys are doing this workout and you're not feeling any tension on your triceps, then you're probably doing it wrong. I recommend you lower or raise up your chair and try to fix your position. All right, guys, so for this workout, normally people keep their body straight with a machine, but I'm showing you guys a different way to do it. And that's going to give you as much pressure on your triceps as possible. How you guys want to do that is you want to arch your upper body, your chest closer to the machine, as you guys can see above. And you want to pull down constantly, applying as much pressure and maintaining your pose. As you guys already know, whenever you're working out, what are you going to do? You're going to control your breathing. When doing this workout guys just make sure you're using a comfortable enough weight you don't want nothing too heavy but nothing too light use something that you can pull that's good enough for you whatever you're comfortable with and just slowly apply more pressure to yourself when it comes to the end of my tricep workouts i love to finish off with some push-ups i feel like it gives me that extra pump on my whole arm and i love the feeling i recommend you guys do this but if you don't want to you don't have to When it comes to the last thing I do before I leave the gym is I usually finish off with some cardio. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, leave a like, and comment below any recommendations. Peace out.